Um, okay, so we were both kind of shocked at the last episode of this uh, of, of Miss, Ma- Miss Maisel. Doesn't surprise me after the last season that they would curveball it again. Yeah, and they did, and it and it was the structure that really threw us off with the with the cold open, right? Yeah, um, Esther, yeah, grown up uh, in crisis in terms of her relationship with with Midge, hmm. right? Which it kind of makes sense, um, and I I don't know, it's it's pretty telling that like there's a yeah. personal cost to pay. With with this type of life that Midge is choosing, a very, a very real one. Sure, and I didn't think the show, obviously it is, but I didn't think it was going to be that focused on mothers and daughters. Sure, you know, um, obviously Rose and Midge have a, a very special relationship, a, a unique relationship. Uh, I did not realize that you know Midge would eventually turn into Rose. Yeah, well, I I kind of That's felt like they're hinting at, I guess. for sure. Well, I I feel like we've said that a lot. Like Midge is definitely their daughter as as far well, as you can see them as, as sure. far as far as like her her you know narcissism you know so, sometimes she has a, a a lack of uh, she has tunnel vision right yeah. that you know doesn't see other what, what other people are going through yeah. we saw it a lot with Susie, right with when she yeah. was like why don't why how come you don't have a phone how come you don't live in a more expensive apartment i don't understand how you're poor yeah you know and it's like well <laughs> how naive she really is. yeah exactly um that's to say that she's a bad person, but no, no, no. you know, you you acknowledge early on that she's grown up with a lot of privilege and doesn't understand yes, that. Slightly ignorant is it's bigger issues, right? Yeah. Um, and 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 Rose is definitely that as well. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it, it kind of makes sense that it's like, you know, the the idea that a lot of these neuroses that we all have are inherited and not genetically but yeah. just in our upbringing like yeah. you know how, how did you do as a parent well let's talk about my parents first <laughs> you know <laughs> and, and, then, and then i can forgive myself trace it all back yeah yeah exactly um so that, that was kind of nice i don't know if we're going to see any more of that if that was a one-off i or, hope not yeah I, I think that would really uh you know this is the last season and i think it would really break up the, the pace of the show in a good way sure I, I think it would add to it actually and um i'm curious because it, it, it's like a mystery now right we know we know the end game. We know the show. She makes it as a as a stand up comedian. Yeah, we know right. it ends in the eighties. Yeah, um, and we know that she's on the rocks right now with her kids. To how they got there, like I said, is a mystery. I want to see that unfold. You know what I mean? Yeah, we'll see some of it. I don't think we're going to get significant time no. jumps. If I do, yeah. I think I think we're staying in the sixties sure. for the whole show. Other than that, um, I don't know how much more we're going to get. I think that was uh, my personal opinion, and mm-hmm. which is obviously worth nothing. I think that was kind of it. Right. I think that was kind of like, you know, my mom made it as a comedian, but I, you know, I as our, our relationship paid a price for it. You know, there's a price to pay for it. I'd and be that shocked. might be it. I'd be mm-hmm. shocked if uh, we didn't see because it'd be weird if they just did that one little snippet in the 80s. <laughs> Maybe. I, I mean, I don't know. But I mean, it depends on what they're trying to say with sure. it. Right. What they said there is Midge's relationship with Esther has fallen apart over the years. They made a big deal about Esther, though. Made, sure. Uh, her character being quite brilliant you know mm-hmm. um and she has shades of abe, abe and her as well you yeah, know? absolutely and by the way that actress who played her who played esther um, in that one scene was great solid yeah. For, yeah. for really nail, nailing the cadence of rachel brosnan very much so you know, right um, it's almost an impression yeah. I, I, I would like to see her again and i'd be surprised i, I, if, I would too i would too if they do it again or if they continue to do it i would be surprised if we don't see rachel brosnan rachel brosnan or bronahan i think it's brosnan i think it's brosnan yeah brosnan? i don't know anyways i'd be surprised if we didn't see her in like a aesthetic makeup older older maybe again i, I know that i have no it. idea right i i have no idea which way they're going to go with it. it is that scene that important to where the story ends up or is that scene just there to let us know yeah midge is going to make it which is what you're pulling for but there <laughs> is going to be a cost for her doing that <laughs> be, and the cost is going to be her relationship with her daughter if that's the only thing we see of that it'd be kind of funny if the show are like what let's put this in here so you guys know that she's going to make it because the last season we weren't sure right you know um but in the meantime, I am curious to see where they go in sure. the 60s. Absolutely. You know, she's going to start writing for, um, oh my goodness, what's his name? I can't remember. The talk show. She's going right. to write for the talk show host, right. I want to see that. Yeah, absolutely. And, and where she goes from there, does she? Does it last? Is is it a really toxic environment? Which it definitely could be. Yeah, it definitely is going to be. Oh, and also Joel, real quick, Joel. We have to right. see where Joel's going as well, because that last episode was kind of a bombshell for him in May. Gonna miss May on the show, but anyway, um, I agree. But uh, the 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 workplace, if it is toxic, which I expect it to be, is she going to be able to swallow her natural impulse to fight back all the time in a way that's counterproductive to her? Is she there? You know what I mean? Because the last episode uh, of season four, mm-hmm. we she had the wake up call from Lenny, right? Yeah. Well, old Midge before that wake up call 
wouldn't have taken anything from anybody, right? We saw it with Sophie. Oh, yeah. She couldn't handle the success that she was getting working with Sophie yeah. because she couldn't handle Sophie, no. which is totally understandable. Yeah. But now that she's like, oh, wait, I really have to take this seriously enough. I want to make it. Yeah. Now is she going to have a different approach to the crap she's about to take yeah. working at this place? Swallow the pride, eat the crap. Yeah. Get famous. <laughs> which, 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 you know, um, it sucks that that's the reality. But let's face it, man. It's a reality that performers have had to deal with from the beginning of time yeah you know i mean there are women that you know that hate to go dark but had to deal with harvey freaking weinstein throughout throughout you know and, and longer the back history, yeah the golden age of hollywood 100 yeah. percent, right that have had to deal with some really terrible crap yeah. and i i had to be honest with you um sophie cutting in on her jokes seems pretty mild in comparison to, to some of that. You know what I yeah. mean? I, I don't, I think she's like, we said earlier, she's naive. Yeah. She's there there is. Picture. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah. You're, you're going through some garbage, but you have no idea some and, of the crap that some people have had to go through. Maybe naive isn't the right word. Maybe it's more ignorant. ignorant yeah. She's, yeah. Just, she just lacks the personal experience. I haven't experienced that. Right. Exactly. Uh, it's not an indictment of her. It's yeah, just, no, I like it's it. just, I love it. it's just how she's, the world has interacted with her. It's just yeah. different than how it's interacted with other people. Yeah. We we're all, we live different lives. Yeah, we're, we're all we're all creations of our own experiences, truly, right? Yeah, Every truly, one of yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, we do want to go ahead and uh, welcome Aubrey, Zerga Ewing, Kinjo Nineteen, Stack Pack, and Jasmine Rain to our Patreon group. Thanks so much, guys. We're really happy you're here with us. Yes, we are. If you guys are watching this on YouTube for the first time, welcome back to our channel. Or welcome to our channel. <laughs> if you might like button for us, leave us a comment down below and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on the new content we've coming your way. Yeah, if you'd like to see a full reaction to this and everything else we've watched or watching, please check out the link in the description below to our Patreon page on all shows and. Including Mrs. Maisel. We are four episodes ahead on Patreon of where we are on YouTube. So if you get done watching this on YouTube and want to keep going, that's the place to do it. Please keep in mind that you will have to sync and watch along on your own device or streaming service. You will only see and hear us. No matter how much you yell at us on Patreon, that is the that is the law in terms of copyright. Scamming, we can't, we're not tricking you. Know, yeah, it, it, this is what you get. This is what you get. Um, we're also watching 30 Rock right now, so Patreon exclusive. All right. It's a man, 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 man world. Oh, because of the, the job, yeah, because of... Oh, wow, okay, yes, yeah, so they're really committing to this 80s thing then, wow. Often press shy, she agreed to sit down with me and talk about her life. Hey, you look a little nervous. You're right, you called it. Wow. Yep. It's been quite a ride. Grammy winner, Emmy winner, the French Order of the Arts and Letters. So she really kills it, yeah. I like money, I'm not ashamed of that, and boy, oh boy, do I love the sound of laughs. Really reminds me of Hacks a lot, right? A lot, there. Yeah. yeah. What could have been a career ending night of infamy turned out to be, as so many things do in Midge Maisel's life, the beginning of a brand new chapter. <laughs> right. Yeah. A son, Ethan, and a daughter, Dr. Esther Maisel. <laughs> you called this. Yeah. Regrettably. She's a wonderful mother. <laughs> the other kids must have been jealous. Oddly, yes. <laughs> Oddly, yeah. And then there's the relationship that lasted longer than all the others combined. Oh, Susie, yeah. Liza Susie Minnelli, Tyson. George Carlin, Barbara Streisand, just about wow. everybody in Hollywood. Wow. Everybody except you. So they have a falling out. Yep. My first wow. night at the gaslight. Yeah. Yep, the story's true. Oh, yeah. She was got naked. What I wore the night of the great tarmac dump of 1960s. This is kind of cool. Yeah. This is really cool. It's like looking back on the show. The outfit I wore on my first day as a writer for Gordon Ford. Here we go. That's goodness to now, yeah. And where do the proceeds go? The Weissman Maisel Children's Foundation. That's nice. Yeah. Okay. Children are my best teachers. Through them, I've learned to love, to laugh, to listen. This gets really complicated, doesn't it? Seems like it. I'm, uh, I thought we'd be dealing with this at the end. I did too, yeah. You know? This time, it came directly from him. But What's there to even write? Doesn't he just make it all up on the spot? No. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> I love picking Ethan up after school, and Esther loves to come along. She rides on my shoulders and tells me, Giddy up, Janusz! <laughs> Spending time with your children, they made me think about having my own children for the first time in my life. Aww. Oh. <laughs> He's been here off and on for weeks, and none of us know who he is. Whoever he is. Sounds like he's free. <laughs> Different times. Yeah. Today, they'd be like, who, who are you? <laughs> Why are you hanging out with my kids? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Joel's having a rough time. Right? Yeah, Joel's going through it. Also, notice when I talked about our husbands, we didn't see Joel in those pictures. Not that he was famous or anything, right. but like, you know. Give Grandpa a big hug there, kids. Come on. Grandma first. Come to Grandma. 
I didn't think about this either. We heard Esther talking about Grandpa in the beginning. Yeah. It could be Moish. Sure. Hi. A little Hi. patient. Don't be scared. He's gonna be fine. Your father was hit by a very small car. <laughs> they're not Ethan's. Hours. They're not my old ones. I keep a supply of little boy pajamas on hand at all times, like everyone else. <laughs> Shit, just like everybody else. <sighs> it's a long story. Love to hear it. He's like, yeah, I pulled a U. That didn't work out. Well, I mean, she doesn't know about May and everything. I mean, it's a no, lot that yes. she doesn't know. There is no May, okay? No May? What, what about the baby? There's no May and there's no baby. Together. This is what could have pushed her over the edge. Hey, that's not fair. She chose. With your help? I'm gonna wait till you get better to smack you because now won't be fun. He just wants to blame somebody. I know. It's just a bad situation, yeah. yeah. We can't be too down on him because of this is a no. This is terrible for him, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, his his world's changing. Yeah, he's deflecting. But around five this morning, something struck me. Was that a blunt object? What? <laughs> you can go into a writer's room, yeah. wear whatever you want. Yeah, <laughs> comfy clothes out of there. Yeah. Zelda has a boyfriend. A new one? What happened to Janusz? No, it is Janusz. How do you know about Janusz? She's been with him for like four months. <laughs> this, with this, nice. and this. And this. Wow, that's great. Yeah, I, I'd be pretty irritated too, <laughs> too with that. So Susie came up with the outfit. That's awesome. But I mean, calling her at five in the morning because you can't pick an it's outfit. Extreme. Yeah, yeah I, I wouldn't have those kind of stones to do that to somebody. No. <laughs> imagine, if I, yeah, imagine if I called you before I came over. Kevin, are these jeans okay? <laughs> five in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. for Miss Maisel shirt. You'd be like, don't come over. Don't. <laughs> yeah, we're done. <laughs> Okay, that was fun and all, but I just need to tell you. It's <laughs> like Batman. Yeah. <laughs> Ninja really, vanished. Yeah, she really got up the stairs quick. Yeah. Why are you going uptown now? You were going downtown. This is downtown. <laughs> right. <laughs> Two minutes. Jesus H. Christ. Okay. Then you never have to see me again. I promise. He's a good looking guy. Yeah. He seems this is this is really nice actually. It is, yeah. But I feel like I'm rooting for you, son. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you do mention that. Hey, I'm I'm separated right now, you know? Not divorced, separated. Right. By the time you're asking her over to your house for a coffee, that should come up. Yeah. All those talks in the park, never brought right. it up. A little on him, you know. This was a West Side story. Yeah. Which one's your favorite? Spielberg or the uh, yes, and I didn't expect that to be the case until I saw it. And I'm like, wow, this is really it's, good. It's a real feat. Isn't yeah, it's about good camera work. Oof. Steven Spielberg apparently. Yeah, the kid, the kid's got some chops. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> independent filmmaker Steven Spielberg. Yeah, <laughs> he's got a future. Yeah, somebody should give him an Oscar. Wait, he knows me, Mike, 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 Mike. <laughs> Mitch Maisel. Let her in. <laughs> Mike sucks. <laughs> They're married in real life. Are they really? Yeah. Is that where I'm supposed to go? That's the writer's room? Go. Thanks. This is going to be brutal, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, I'm assuming she's going to get hazed a little bit. Yeah. Here. Am I in the right place? No. Don't think no. so. This is the writer's room, right? Pretty yeah, much. Writers asking. in a room. Well, I'm your new writer. Yeah, we're writers in a room. <laughs> Millie. Midge. Midge? Never trust people whose names don't rhyme with anything. Whoa, he was on American Pie. Uh, American Pie. That's, uh... Oh my gosh, what's his name? He's the one that hooks up with uh, Stokely's mom. Oh, okay. Yeah. So let's get going here, boys. Give me a good mix. 20 and 1. Uh, what? Wait, where? Me too. Uh, Alvin, what's 20 and 1? Yeah. Yeah. Just go up to one of the riders like, what are you working on? Yeah. <laughs> it's 20 jokes in one hour. And that was eight minutes ago. So I've got, I'm so freaked out. I can't even do the math. They better get to work. Yeah. Washington Square Park isn't square, it's a rectangle, so they should change the name to Washington Rectangle Park. Oh, that's cute. That's a terrible joke. A whole joke, yeah. I haven't seen him. I think he's in a different part of the building. And was I supposed to have an Good office? Because I don't think they have an office. I didn't think about that. No, the, right. You're not the head writer. You don't have an office. I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta start thinking. Writing. Goodbye. Hang on. If you're doing, yeah, I was gonna say, if you're doing 20 an hour, some of them are gonna be bad. Well, it, they I, don't, I'm gonna say most of them aren't gonna make it. Right. Yeah. If any, you know. Well, because it's going to be a couple hundred jokes with all the guys. <laughs> Obviously, the, some are going to get pruned. That'd be tough, though. Yeah. You know about that. But how? Could be electrical, could be arson. We don't know yet. Arson? Yeah, that's her spot. They, yeah. They, they, they firebombed her tea room. 
Yes, they're brutal. Yeah. <laughs> Getting serious there. Yeah. NASA is planning to send a chimp into space. They wanted to send a chump, but Jerry Lewis and my producer George refused to go. <laughs> Run it by George, see if it bothers I don't think that's very funny. <laughs> when someone hits the John, we do this to cover the sound. Yes, you are not in a professional environment. No. Coming! Type them up and get him to Gordon. Got it. That's lunch! Did she even get to say uh, Probably, jokes? I'm sure. Take it you, weren't, you weren't going to take over the writing room on no. your first day. Yeah. Nope. I love this shot. Yeah. Got a piano in the office. I'm like, shut up, it's not right over here. It's funny because the last episode there was, uh, was it Abe that was saying Casablanca's overrated? He was, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you must know Madeline Pugh. I don't think so. Wrote for I Love Lucy? Funny lady. How about uh, Nancy Clark? Writes for the Anne yeah. Show? You know all, all the ladies, yeah, exactly. Back to the drawing board, fellas! Let's assemble. They'll get it there, Gordy. They always do. Unbelievable. So he kind of sucks. I get it. I had a lot of pressure. If they were crab jokes. Yeah. I mean, more il flottant pour moi. <laughs> if I had known I'd be dining with such a charming man, I'd have scheduled time to linger. Next time, I won't make that mistake. Oh, wow. Oh, man. All right. Well, well, she mentioned her husband would like your wife, so. Uh -huh. Brazil. Ah, it's, it's, it's very, 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 very good. Very fine. Here. Yeah. <laughs> I know so it's disappointing, gang, yeah. but ours is not the reason why. Ours is but to write new jokes or die. That's the job. I gotta That's go say hello to Angie Dickinson. Oh, cool. For me. It's yeah. awesome. That was a great bit. That was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> the Unsinkable Molly Brown is a new show on Broadway. I heard that the ushers are seating women and children first. It's not bad. There's going to be a baby in the White House, little JFK Jr. It'll be a clean transition. White House staff already learned how to change diapers with Eisenhower. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah. It wasn't even funny when I heard Jack Parr do it two weeks ago. Oh. Oh. There you go. Sorry, Sess, go. Okay, uh, there's a commercial for dishwashing soap. Any of you see it? I bet she did. Oh, wow. Dang. They suck. <laughs> He's gonna have to fight him. That's yeah, it, you yeah. know? I don't know all the intricacies of New York theater customs. Okay. Well, I don't think it's a custom. I think no. it was her on her own. It was board. a pass. It was all going so smoothly. We talked about theater and criticism and the war. Then she did this. <laughs> Still has his hand with your hand. Sexual? Yes. That's because it is. I knew it. Can you move your hand, please? Yeah. I don't get it. It was lunch. So? Nothing sexual happens before seven in the evening. Oh my God. <laughs> <It's a> dinosaur. <laughs> but you're married. Oh, I left my wife years ago. I live with Maury now. From accounting. With a cold. Terrence, we need to talk. <laughs> it's the cold. Wasn't Maury married? He lived with his sister. That was his sister? I am so out of the loop. <laughs> I love that guy. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, I don't think this warrants him telling Rose. Nothing no, happened. Be because he didn't do anything. Yeah. Right, yeah. He was hit on a little bit. Right, he got hit on. Hey, Teddy, <laughs> you posing for the Kama Sutra? <laughs> 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 uh, that's that's pretty, pretty funny, yeah. They're, they're, they're good. Yeah, that's cool. Comedian, I like that. Comedians fight with comedians. Yeah. <laughs> You're stuck in a room with one another yeah. for hours. Right. I get it. doesn't like us in his eyes. generous time. Your mom looks A guy so picked old. the wallet right out of my pocket. <laughs> so old. Survived by his wife, his children, and his mustache. <laughs> Now, ma'am, is that a hat or is your hair on fire? That was a cool little shot. Pull it, it back. Yeah. Pull it back. Listen, I'm calling with a question, then I'll let you go. Sure. Could you order a quick raid on an enemy? <laughs> well, short answer, Ma, I cannot order a raid. Sure. <laughs> they meet occasionally in Coney Island, and I just thought if I knew they were there at a specific time, you could firebomb it or something. No, yeah, I'm at work. <laughs> Abe, would you like to say hi to Noah? Pop, what the hell is going on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's going to tell, tell her, yeah. yeah. Right? Oh, I'm fine, thank you. How was your day? Did you make some he good is, matches? At the has he never been hit on by somebody in his life? Probably not. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> How was the tea? It was very nice. Oh. Karina and I went there, and it was... So they're both just going to lie to each other. Typical nice Monday. Ate dessert at my desk. Tight some. The usual. Pickle jar, huh? Did I say dessert? Lunch. 
I ate lunch. That's funny. Because he's having dessert when you hit on. Yeah. Oolong and Ash. You know you can always tell me anything. The tea room was my office. I met all my clients there. I don't know what I'm going to do without it. He's going to tell her for no reason to. Sexualized gesture. <laughs> oh, God. Well, it is past seven. Past seven? They don't think I'm funny. Well, they don't have to, so long as Gordon thinks you're funny. The day felt like a week. We have to do it all over again tomorrow, and then the next day, and the next. So a job works? Yeah. Go mingle. Make some friends. Be confident. Yeah. Loosen up with everybody, then they'll start taking your joke seriously. Ahead of me at the front of the line, buys the same can of tuna. Listen, she's got to do a stand-up in here, doesn't she? She's got to do what she's doing at parties and kind of like, yeah. yeah. Mike got me an advanced copy of the 2,000-year-old man, that Mel Brooks thing. Oh. Hilarious. Mm. Mel Brooks is funny. Yeah. Mel Brooks is funny. Learning a lot. The pleasure's ours. They give you any problems, you come to me. I'm kind of glad he said that in front of him. Yeah. I always look good. I'm going to miss this place. And go back to that Irish pub. I can't sit through that Tin Whistle Leprechaun music anymore. I'll go crazy. <laughs> that was nice. Yeah. She should get in there. <laughs> she probably has a key because of the kids. kids yeah. Little JFK Jr. It'll be a nice clean year. transition. White House staff already learned how to change diapers with Eisenhower. <laughs> See? Yeah. yeah. Good call. I knew yeah. that was funny. Yeah. Oh, we just broke the fourth wall a little bit there. That's good. Yeah. Right. A little turtle monologue. That was nice. I like that, yeah. I, I did too. Um, I thought it was a good depiction of the writer's room, honestly. Yeah. And like the, the disillusionment of like... Again, we, we talked before the episode about Midge's kind of sense of privilege. Sure. And how she didn't walk in and take over the room like she thought right. she was probably going to. That, that, that's a good thing. Right. Well, I mean, how many jobs have you had where on your very first day you were like, you are, you, you're the most important person here. Yeah. Or, or even on even keel with everybody. You've got to, nope. Yeah. You've got to kind of prove yourself at your job. Yeah. It's a little awkward at first. Yeah, you know? of I course. Mean, right. I, I think people are skeptical of you as well because you they know, don't know you. You're, you're new. A machine. Right. Yeah. Everybody works together. That's how things get done, you know? <laughs> and, um, Real quick, about this season, um, I found season four to be a bit jarring at first, just because it was um, it was trying to be different, you sure. know? Mm -hmm. Obviously, it, it was different. Yeah. Um, but we came off of three seasons of it being the same show. Yeah, I, I agree know? with that. I feel like it was kind of one trajectory thing, yeah. stylistically, how it was shot, how, the, how yeah. the story was structured, was all the same for three seasons. Three perfect seasons. Right. And then... Four was different. I liked four. I had no problem I like with four. four. Too. I had no problem with four. four. Right. I'm just saying. But it was a different show. It was different. Right. It was different, but it still tried to be the first three seasons. It, it was still in that same vein, the same tone. This season has committed to change. To, yeah, to structurally kind of being a different yes. thing with, with the way they're opening the episodes. I'm loving it. I am too. I'm, I'm loving it entirely. Like I, I really enjoyed the 60 minutes bit the first episode. I did too. Being the episode. I really did think that they were going to save that for later on in the show. Yeah, you were right. I thought they were... I, I, I was like 60% sure like they said, were done with it after I, the first I part. did not think it was going to be immediately. But yeah. I, I could have sworn we were going to get snippets of Esther. She, I did too. It was kind of going to be the focus. It, it best. Thing, you know? um, but no, they're just kind of... My guess is they're just going to kind of shotgun blast it and it's going to be random bits of the 80s and it's going to correlate back to the theme of the episode. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I, I, I misread how they used it. In the first, honestly, after the first one, I thought what they were going to do was like, hey, things through Midge's life professionally, but personally sure. don't work out. Keep that in mind going forward. And that was going to be well, it. I was just thinking in terms of like screenplay, how many movies have you seen where it starts? The, the, the ending of the movie is really the beginning of the movie is really the end, right? Yeah. Usually I find it to be kind of a cop out. It can be. You know what I mean? It's like, contrived like here's this, and oh, we're going to go back two weeks earlier yeah, to get sure. to that point. Yeah, yeah. And you, but, but when we get to this point, sure. it's going to be a little different than you think it is. Sure. And it's just, it's, it's, it's an overused structure. Mm -hmm. I don't think they've done that here, though. They haven't. Right. And that's why I was a little worried at first. I was like, okay, all right, I've seen this before. We, yeah. We've all seen this right, before. Right. It is contrived at this point. Um, them doing this, though, I think is interesting. I do too. I really, I do. really if do. If you're yeah. doing that in each episode, you're not, and it's great that they're not wrapping up the episode. In the 80s. Sure. You start in the 80s, you see the episode, and we see her journey progress. It's a little sad. I'm not disappointed. I'm just saying it's a little sad that we know that where she ends up is she does have all these things. She has the fame, the fortune, this huge legacy. But it doesn't seem like she's happy. Not completely. Yeah. Um, but how many comedians is that the case for? 
All of them? I would say it, Depre- depression among stand-up comics yeah. is really high, really yeah, common. Absolutely. Um, yeah, Ralph Williams, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, Jim Carrey's yeah. Yeah, quite an existential guy, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, I, I think that... Patrice, uh, Patrice yeah, O'Neill. Yeah, R. R. yeah, so yeah I, I, absolutely. Um, I, I just think that that even extends past stand-up comedians. I think most rich, famous people aren't that happy Those because they don't get to right. be people. Right. You know? We've all seen the biopics. There's always some, yeah. you know, g- genius comes with a lot of baggage. How many sometimes. biopics we had this last year? <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, I, I'm, but I, I will say this about it. I'm, you know, structurally, I, you're, you're, you're spot on. I'm glad they're doing it simply, simply because the other risk of this, if, of not doing that, is you do that, you do the show, and the end game of the show is uh-huh. Midge makes it as a comedian and lives happily ever after, which which clearly isn't the or case. In real life, you know? right? Exactly. So I like the fact they're saying, yeah, Midge makes it as a comedian, which is the thing that she's been chasing, the thing that she wants. Yeah. But there is, you, you have to remember, there's a cost. There is no happily ever after for people. There has to be some consequence. I guess, yeah, yeah, for sure. It's, it's. I, I think that makes for a boring screenplay or or tv show or movie if it is just you can have your cake and eat it too no most of those movies don't work right or it's a different kind of movie it's a comedy it's a rom-com yeah this show is a comedy yeah it lacks verisimilitude it's not incredibly realistic to like you know the 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 disney ending you know it's like the the 22 year old prince and princess get married and live happily ever after i'm like really they've got 60 more years together (laughs) you you mean to tell me you mean to tell me that things don't go wrong in there it's it's the what now (laughs) yeah exactly right and i like this address because i I wouldn't call this show grounded in reality or realistic i'm just saying i like that it is funny very funny yes but it does have weight to it absolutely that's interesting that's what makes good tv that's what gets us talking about it we're, we're, we're still talking about the show previous seasons like into season five you know it's, it's not a one-off it's not mm-hmm. like oh we digested that and it's gone yeah it, 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 while i don't think it rises to the level of change it kind of reminds me a little bit of the good place in that you're watching the show and you think you've really got figured out what it is but but good writing and good show running means you really shouldn't. You yeah. shouldn't have it all figured out all the way through. No, no. Um, if, if you're really making something new and compelling. Yeah, in TV. Right, yeah. exactly. In a movie, it's like... In a movie, yeah. it's different. Yeah, two hours, right? Figure <laughs> yeah. it out. But, but for television, if you're doing a, a serialized show, a quality one, yeah. you, it, you don't want to know everything right up front. At all. Breaking Bad did the same thing. In the first season, Jesse was supposed to be dead. Yeah, they could change, they changed it up, right? And they ended up having one of the best TV shows of all time. Yeah. You know, so being on your feet and being versatile is so important for TV. And I think this show is taking big swings, and I'm getting it's better off for it. I, I, I do, too. And I, and I think most of them have worked. You know, there, there, there's been a couple of small, you know, things like... Midge, Midge's um, depression and and and, yeah. and and lack of effort was the entire season four. I can see why that maybe it was like okay, we get it now. Let's 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 go ahead and do the break. But they made that they made that work for season four. That was what I, season four was. Was I that think it worked. was that arc? I, I I think it worked too. It's less successful, right? In quotations, season is season four, but I still think that it I would, it's hey, really good. Exactly, you know? I thought it was really good too. And I think season five so far is great. Which speaks to the quality of the first three seasons. You know, it's just right. a good show all the way around. Yes, yeah, it's just not the same show all the way through. Yeah. All right. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. See ya.